everybody. Just a little update. I uh, decided to hook up my bio pellet reactor in the test to get the nitrates down. This is my bio pellet reactor that I made, my DIY, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, is this really I've got videos on how I made this. Got a little pump connected to it with a hose coming out of the top on the other end. It's a little too short, however, I like it like that. It's not going anywhere. You're supposed to ideally keep that uh, export tubing that's taking the water from the bio pellet reactor out of it, which has got the waste. You're supposed to have that pointed at the front of the protein skimmer so it can be taken up by the protein skimmer and exported like all the other junk that's in the water. So I may get longer tubing, but I kind of like it out of the water like that because water hitting the air creates oxygenation and a little bit of splashing, these bubbles, oxygenation. All the better in the water, okay? Um, the router tube is being cleaned, which is why you don't see it in here currently. So in the meantime, I temporarily added a PVC pipe to go to the bottom of the water of the sump so it doesn't make any noise. I don't like the splashing noise. The reason why I put the bio pellet reactor back in is my nitrates were around 30 to 40. With the marine pure black in there, as you can see, the marine pure black has been in there for three months. Really not helping with the uh, nitrate reduction. The blocks do that. But this one, they say within a month, two months, you should see a little reduction. I'm not. I'll probably keep the black in there to maintain the ammonia and the nitrites at a lower level. Ammonia is fish waste and rotting food that gets broken down it turns into ammonia for those of you who don't know gotta have ammonia at zero or else it will kill your fish ammonia is toxic to fish so you gotta get it out of your tank with water changes and a black like this or beneficial bacteria bacteria in the water breaks ammonia down into nitrites which is what live rock is used for in your tank called live rock because bacteria lives on it and in the sand live sand and on the glass and in the sump anyway I just wanted to let you guys know that I put the bio pellet reactor back in uh, those of you who don't know a bio pellet reactor feeds the anaerobic bacteria in your water when the bacteria grows and populates the more anaerobic bacteria the better because it breaks down nitrates into a gas which ex is exported through your which is exported by your tank through a protein skimmer you need a protein skimmer to do this protein skimmer sucks the water up churns it into all those bubbles right there thousands of bubbles bubbles rise to the collection cup and they pop, resulting in all that dirtiness being collected in the collection cup, which unscrews, you take that to your sink and you rinse it out. That's all the fish waste and extra food that was not eaten and everything else in your water that's garbage. So people dose sugar, table sugar in the water. I just add it right to the sump. No more than one teaspoon every day for every 60 gallons you want to start small like half a teaspoon recommended for 60 gallons do that for a week sugar is going to feed the anaerobic bacteria it's called carbon dosing it's not the same as carbon in a bag that filters your water also um, vodka people dose with vodka uh, the kind you drink as I've said I'm going back to the bio pellet reactor these bio pellets will provide carbon for the anaerobic bacteria to eat. Once these pellets are gone, they'll actually just dissolve. You just simply replace them. So it's really easy. I was dosing sugar and it worked great. But um, the less I do in my tank, the better. So 
Anyway, the Marine Pure Black didn't really work too well after three, three and a half months. Maybe it'll take longer than that, whatever. But I'll report back to you guys after like a month and I'll let you know what this biopellet reactor is doing. Maybe in a couple weeks, whatever. I just did a test this morning after I added this again and the nitrates are about 30 to 40. Um, granted, I have some cleaning to do. I gotta vacuum out the sump and clean those return pumps because they're kind of dirty. So that's adding to the nitrates as well. Anything that's in your tank is gonna add to the nitrates. Uneaten food, garbage, stuff that collects in the bottom of your sump because the water is flowing out of these tubes from your tank into your sump where it's being churned and collected and pumped back into your aquarium. So here you see the bio pellets, they're churning. I've got the pump on full blast. So they churn really well. This reactor I built is phenomenal. I love it. Could have bought one for like two or three hundred dollars. Yeah, whatever. Built my own. Alright guys, take it easy. Have a great weekend. See you next Saturday.